Tabloid, stretching the truth to downright fact. Here is something you should have known, but you don't because I didn't tell you yet. Spread the word. As we all know, Samus Aran was originally male because she looked like one under the spacesuit, and that she switched genders halfway through development of the first Metroid. The story arc to this follows that Samus had a rare defect from a cross lifeform disease known as castrate piracy. This led to her wearing a red bikini at the end of the game so that her blood would blend in. The developers deemed this inappropriate as an unlockable to play as her in the blood suit, so they left the thinking to the mature adults to leave in the correct password to play as this model. And since the Japanese media have odd censorship regulations, the code wasn't released in the Super Famicom version, which is why Long Beach received the code first, to match their beaches. As we know, Samus was raised by the bird people, or harpies, known as the chocobos, who were also responsible for creating the metalroids. Their reasoning for creating them was because they needed an automated vacuum cleaner, and they also wanted to multitask by training Samus to be fierce and fearless. Samus is afraid of hoovers, therefore, this was the chocobo's fuel for causing an outbreak and in hopes that Samus would leave no remorse for his or her enemies. People have been wondering about a possible sequel to Metroid Fusion, because they finally realized that a prequel would have their moment. However, in 2005, there was a speculated side scrolling sequel for the DS that was going to be called Metroid Dread. To this day, nothing has happened besides from a little widget from Metroid Prime 3 that says, Experiment Status Report Update. Metroid Project Dread is nearing the final stages of completion. This is nothing more than a teaser, maybe for a 3DS release. However, in a recent interview, some person said that the project name was signified towards the finished version of Other M. To make something totally parallel to the series, but also something that fits in. Like memory loss of the dreaded adolescent days, and more of the kid crying days. Metroid never had a game on the N64, despite having an appearance in Super Smash Bros. This is due to the same reason as the Ice Climbers, as described by the developers as a franchise that is frozen in its own path to which it has to reach the top of the mountain in cold temperatures, and until someone uses a hammer to thaw you out. This is the result of the Metroid Prime series airing on the GameCube. And speaking of this, the first Prime game was originally going to have 64-bit graphics due to Nintendo apologizing for not releasing the game on the N64. They scrapped it because making 64-bit graphics were harder to render than the GameCube graphics. Sakamoto revealed that the origin of Samus's name derives from the term Seamus, or Seamus, who is an Irish poet, translator, playwright, and lecturer who won a Nobel Literature Prize in 1995. The reason they have this connection is due to Samus's early days as a male Homo sapien, as well as the constant monologuing in Other M. That signifies that quite possibly, Other M was the first ever game to be planned in the series, but didn't become developed until later on. This is also the reason why there hasn't been a planned Metroid game as of late, purely because they are trying to change the name of Samus to represent something else that doesn't represent an obvious mistake such as dialogue after dialogue. So with all these said now, I hope they get published. And that's all I have for you now, and I'm sorry I hurt your brain with all that information. Thank you, and lights out.